Tonight, there are disagreements on how much protection that Wakulla County Wetlands should get. I'm Rockman Johnson. You're watching the news at six so much. Thanks so much for being here. Abby Mauer is off for the week. County commissioners voted last month to remove some of the local protections, relying on more federal, uh, relying on federal protections instead. ABC 27's Christina Resnick spoke with some commissioners about the issue today, and she's joining us now from the newsroom. Christina, uh, some of the agencies as part of the state of Florida are now getting involved after these local measures have been put to rest. What's, how's that affecting the area? Well, Rockman, the state released letters last week regarding wetland buffer zones, but right now commissioners have different opinions on how seriously to take their suggestions. A four to one vote among county commissioners last month could mean less protection for Wakulla County wetlands. Now, the Northwest Florida Water Management District, Department of Environmental Protection, and Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation suggest they keep buffer zones that determine how closely residents and businesses can build to the area. The last 35 feet, we would not like to see home construction in. We allow walkways and docks and things to get to the water, but not to actually build your residence in that 35 foot. Commissioner Howard Kessler was the one vote in favor of keeping the buffers. These buffers are, are good for our county. They will preserve um, our water quality much more than had we gotten rid of them. Other commissioners I spoke with say that the state agencies are not making a formal recommendation to keep the buffers, but rather providing a standard for how other areas protect their own wetlands. And they say the suggestions will not change their decision. I think some of them feel very strongly uh, that uh, uh, that the state will protect our uh, water quality adequately. Uh, a lot of the citizens and myself uh, think that we can do a better job. But the board's vote doesn't mean the buffer zones will disappear instantly. Some residents formed the Wakulla Wetlands Alliance in response. The group is petitioning to get the issue on the ballot in 2014 to let citizens decide. It's very likely that this will be on the ballot uh, and the, the date for our petition ending our gathering is March 3rd. It's right around the corner. Commissioner Kessler says wetlands protection will not be on the agenda for any meetings in January, but it will be discussed in February instead. Live in the newsroom, Christina Resnack, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you.